Hi everybody, my name is Jared and welcome to How to Find a Book in the Library. So first what you want to do is uh, you want to log into the computer and go to the library website. Basically, you just go to that from there. You go to Canajar High School and then you go to Library. So from then on, you go to Catalogs and press this button that I just pressed right there. So what we're going to do right, right away is we're going to type in the book Eclipse. We're just going to, for now, we're going to how to get a book online, basically, or how to find the book even before we even start. So, we're going to type in Eclipse, and you see, what's right there, it's right. Alright, at the top of the screen, you will see all the information you will need for Works Cited Pages. It's the catalog for the book, basically. Now, after this, what we're going to do is we're going to look at more by this author. We're going to click that, and all of the books written by that author will be there. Like, Breaking Dawn, the original uh, Twilight. And I don't know the other ones, I'm not a vampire fan, or a Twilight fan, I don't know what they're called. Now we're going to look at the subjects. So this will show us all the subject books that have to do, that are like Eclipse. Like those diehard vampire fans out there, you know? So now that we did that, we're going to keep scrolling down a little bit. And as you see, it's checked in. If you look at the status, it's checked in. Let's say, for instance, it was checked out. If then, you would want to go to press this button and it says other locations. If you press that, we'll see what happens here. We're going to scroll all the way down and you see all these other schools actually have them in. So let's say, for instance, it wasn't checked in. It was checked out. All you need to do is give Mrs. Jones the column number and what schools have it and she will order it through the interlibrary loan for you. Just give her that column number and you give her what school it's from and there you go. Now, for instance, we're going to type in Sleeping Freshman Never Lie. Now we're going to get to a topic how to actually find a book in the library. So right away, we're going to search for this. And if, if see how it's an audio recording, so that's what we're going to be looking for in this video. So all we got to do now is see on title number three, you see how it says sound recording. This is the one that is located in the library of, of Kana Harry. So as you see here, here is the, here's the book basically. You scroll down, and you see it's not in any location but in Canajahari. You scroll down and you see it is actually in. So what we're going to do is get that column number, get that collection, and where it's located. The column number, the collection, write it down, and from there on out, we're going to go find that book. So now, we're going to bring it to me on the camcorder, and we are going to find how to find this book. It starts at 0 to 99, which is computer sciences. Then it goes to 100 to 199, which is psychology. They're broken into sections of 10, d classifying the books. Then 200 to 299, which is religion. Three hundred to three ninety nine is social sciences. It goes around to the other bookcase. Past the magazines. Then it goes to 400 to 499, which is languages. 500 to 599 is science. Six hundred to six ninety nine is technology. Seven hundred to seven ninety nine is recreation and art. Eight hundred to eight ninety nine is literature. 
Then there's the biographies, which is organized by the author's last name. Then there's the graphic novel section. Then it goes to the reference section books. These are the fiction books. They go in order of author's last name. These are the audiobooks. They're paired up with the books that the regular book and you can check them out at any time. And you bring them to the librarian and she will gladly check them out for you. Thanks for watching!